Welcome to a video entitled Attaching the Sample Database. Now, I want to go through the process of attaching this database. If you've seen this before, this is old news and you may even want to skip the video. If you've never seen this, watch closely. If you try this and it doesn't work, come back and watch the whole video. Okay, I hope I didn't say that too late. Notice I have copied the AdventureWorks 2012 database MDF file onto the desktop. What I'm going to do now is I am just going to locate this right here on the desktop, and then I am going to open the management tool, SQL Server 2012 Management Studio, and I'm using that shortcut that we created back in a video entitled Windows 8 Server 2012 Interface or Windows 7 Interface. Either way, you're going to end up with a shortcut on the taskbar, and you can use that. And I'm just going to connect up using my Windows authentication scheme. Now I've got this Management Studio open, so I'm just going to minimize this for just a second. I'm going to come down here and open my little libraries area. And what I'm going to do is go to Disk C, then I'll go into Program Files, SQL Server. When we installed SQL Server 2012, it created a folder called MSSQL11.MSSQL Server. Go into that one. Then there's MSSQL. Go into that one. Then there's one with all caps called data. This is where we want to put our MDF file. So I'm just going to click and drag it into this folder, move it into there. Notice we have AdventureWorks 2012 underscore data in this particular folder. And if I click up here, you can see the file path. C Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server, and you can see all that all the way to the end. We want to put it in that data file. If you put this MDF file anywhere else, then most likely you're going to get a security problem. You're going to get some sort of issue when you try to attach it. And so save yourself that trouble. Just drop it in the data file and you should be just fine. Close that. We have now positioned our MDF file where we wanted it to go. And I think that thing's like 190 megabytes. So we just dropped a lot of data into there. And let's open back up our SQL Server Management Studio. Now, if I expand databases here, you'll see that I have system databases and database snapshots or all that are there. So what we want to do is to attach that sample database. So we will right click on the databases node of the tree here. So we're going to left click on databases first, make it turn blue, make it highlight. Then we're going to right click on it and choose attach. And that will open up this attach databases dialog box. Now what we're going to do is come over here, the databases we want to attach, and we're going to click Add. And then that is going to browse out and it's going to show us, notice, automatically this data folder. And look what's in that data folder, our AdventureWorks 2012 underscore data MDF file. We click OK. Up here everything looks good, but down here we've got a problem. Notice this is a log file. Now, if you understand SQL Server and how it's organized in the architecture, there's always a data file and there's always a log file that captures transactions as they happen. Well, in this case, all we had was the MDF file. We don't have a log file. And if we try to execute the attach now, it will probably throw an error. So what we want to do is highlight this. Notice that's data. That's log. Right there it says log. Highlight that and choose remove. Once we've done that, now let's just click OK. Notice it executed really quickly, and right there is our AdventureWorks 2012 database. And if I expand it, you can see all the tables that are here. So that fast, I added that database onto my SQL Server. Now, if you've never seen Attach, your eyes are kind of wide, and you're saying, oh, wait a minute. Now I see how to take an entire database from one SQL Server and move it over to another. It is a really cool way to go. Make sure you've watched the SQL Server sample database video where I talk about the security aspects of doing this. Don't just attach any old database to your SQL Server, especially your production SQL Server. You can get your job really quickly somewhere else if you do this to a production server. So anyway, that has attached the database. Later on, we're going to talk about using diagrams to learn how to move around in your database. But everything else is here. Notice right quick, if we go into programmability and look in stored procedures, all the stored procedures that are in this database just got brought in with it. So this is a really, really nice way to get data onto your SQL Server. Notice it's taking it 
just a couple of minutes to work through those and find them. But notice they're all there. So attach is what got us here. And from this point on, you'll be able to work with me, right along with me as we write queries against this AdventureWorks 2012 database. So that is the way to attach a database.